welcome to another histology practical session. Today we're looking at cardiovascular system, which is focusing mainly on the blood vascular system. This is histology practical lab 11, and this is Dr. Bison AM. The objectives of this lesson is that by the end, you must be able to identify the vessels that constitute this system from their microscopic features. Number two, to differentiate the layers of veins and arteries and give details of each layer. Thirdly, to discuss the functions of each type of vessel. And last but not the least, to name the various stains that are used to demonstrate elastic fibers. At the end of this exercise, you're going to have an exercise that you're going to answer. Now, before we look at the histological slides, let's look at the important definitions that are in the cardiovascular system. So the cardiovascular system is a system that pumps and directs blood to cells and to tissues. Okay, so these substances are carried by blood. These substances include oxygen, nutrients, waste products. So this system comprises of the heart and the blood vessels. So blood vessels deliver nutrients, oxygen, and hormones to cells of the body and they remove metabolic waste products and carbon dioxide from them through the blood. Exchange of these substances takes place at the capillary level. So what we're able to see here is just a diagram. So this one here is the heart. Okay. So this is the heart. And the vessels that are in blue here, these are the veins. They are in blue because they are carrying deoxygenated blood. These vessels here are the arteries. They are red because they are carrying oxygenated blood. Okay, so that's how the cardiovascular system works. The heart pumps blood to the rest of the body and through the arteries. And the veins bring the, vein, the blood back to the heart and then to the lungs for oxidation. Now, let's classify the blood vessels that we have. So, histologically, blood vessels include the arteries, which are... The arteries can be large arteries or medium-sized arteries. So large arteries are elastic arteries and medium-sized arteries are muscular arteries. Medium-sized arteries will further divide into smaller arterioles and then from arterioles you go to capillaries. Okay. So these capillaries are of three types histologically. You have continuous capillaries, fenestrated capillaries and sinusoidal capillaries. You must know the differences in this type of capillaries. It's very important. From capillaries, you have your venues that pick up the blood from at the level of the tissues. And then they distribute into veins. Okay. So veins, we've got medium-sized veins, and then we've got large veins. These we're going to see as we go on in this histological slide. All right, so let's go on. Now, let's look at the structure of the blood vessels. So, we're going to look at it in principle, and then we're going to look at it using the histological slides. So, all blood vessels, except in the smallest blood vessels, they have the same basic structure. It has got three coats or three layers. They're named as uh, tunics. So, the innermost one is called the tunica intima, which is composed of the lining of the endothelium. So you know that the epithelia of the endothelium is simply simple squamous endothelium. Okay. And the tunica intima is the middle, the tunica media is the middle layer. So this is a layer made up of smooth muscle and connective tissue. And then the outermost layer is the tunica adventitia. It is composed of fibroelastic connective tissue. The thickness of the media and the adventitia varies in different vessels. So you're going to see that in uh, veins and in arteries, the thickness of these tunics are going to differ. And those are some of the histological features that help us to identify which one is the nave and which one is the vein. All right. So on your right side, okay, so this is the artery here. This is the artery here. And this is the vein. So this is not a histological slide. This is just a, a schematic picture. So what you see here inside, this is the endothelium. And then this is the thin uh, sub-endothelial layer. These two make up what we call the tunica intima. So the innermost tunic or coat, tunica intima. And then you've got this middle layer here, which is the tunica 
media. The tunica media is made up of connective tissue and muscles. And then you've got the tunica adventitia, which has got vasovasorum. Vasovasorum are just blood vessels that supply blood vessels. <laughs> All right. So now you can see this is the artery here, and then this is the vein. When you compare the tunica, the tunica medias, the tunica media of the artery is thicker than the tunica media of the vein. And the tunica adventitia of the artery is smaller or thinner than the tunica adventitia of the vein. So this is one of the differentiating factors between the vein and the arteries when you're comparing them from the level of their tunics. So let's get into his, this histological slide. Okay, so this is subcutaneous tissue. Subcutaneous tissue. This side is low power. Okay, subcutaneous tissue. Now, under this subcutaneous tissue, we are expected to look at the blood vessels that are found in the subcutaneous tissue. Spread. Okay. So now, as you can see, this here is the epithelia. So what type of epithelia is this? This epithelia has got a keratin layer on top. So this is the keratin layer. So this is stratified, keratinized, squamous epithelia. Now, we're not interested in the epithelia here. We're interested in this part here. This part is a subcutaneous tissue. Subcutaneous tissue. Now, in this subcutaneous tissue, what we are looking for are the blood vessels. So the blood vessels that we are looking for are this. This is the blood vessel here. This is the blood vessel. All right. So these blood vessels are our focus on this subcutaneous tissue. So this, there are numerous blood vessels. This is a blood vessel here. This is a blood vessel here. This is a blood vessel here. 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 Now, your focus is to differentiate the blood vessels in, in this subcutaneous tissue. So at low power, at low power, you can't really tell the difference between the venue and the, the arterial because they are not really zoomed in properly. So at low power, I just want you to observe. But then at high power, that's when you draw. So here you make drawings at high power. At low power, we're just observing. At high power, we draw. So this is the epithelia here, the stratified squamous. So this is the stratified squamous, squamous keratinized, keratinized epithelia. You know, this is found in the skin. And then under the epithelia, then you've got the subcutaneous. So the subcutaneous, the subcutaneous uh, tissue has got blood vessels. This is the blood vessel here. 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 How do I tell that this is a blood vessel? Look at this. This is the nucleus. 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 The nuclei are forming a circular shape here like this. Okay. So now I know and understand that and there is a lumen between the nucleus. So this is the blood vessel, meaning this, these are nucleus of the endothelium. The nucleus of the endothelium, which is the epithelium in blood vessels. So now, the thinner arteries, the thinner blood vessels are venues. And the thicker blood, ven blood vessels are arterioles. So here, this is an arterial. Okay. This is an arterial. Why? Because it is regular and it is thicker. This is an arterial. So this is an arterial. Uh, but when you look at this here, the lumen is wide and the endothelium here is thin. So this is a venue. This is a venue. This here is also a venue. Okay. So this here is also a venue. 
So this is what we are interested in drawing. This is a venue as well. This is what we are interested in venues. We want to demonstrate the blood vessels that are found in the subcutaneous tissue. You may be wondering, what is this? These are just uh, muscle fibers, longitudinal and cross-section muscle fibers. So these are muscle fibers here. Muscle fibers. All right. So that's what we are required to identify in the subcutaneous tissue. Now, let's move on to slide 27, which is the iota and the vena cover. So the iota is a large elastic conducting artery. It consists, conducts blood from the heart. It has an elaborate array of elastic fibers in the walls and allows it to expand during contraction of the heart. Now, the vena, the vena cover is a large vein that drains the systemic blood into the right atrium, meaning it carries blood. So it carries blood from the body to the heart. To the heart. Okay, now let's look at these two structures and the distinction. Okay, so now you're going to see or note the differences between these two uh, vessels. Okay. Between these two vessels. This here, this side is the iota. This side is the vena cover. How do you know? You look at their tunica media. So from here to here, this is the tunica, tunica intima, the innermost coat of the blood vessel. Even here to here, this is the tunica intima. Tunica intima. So the tunica intima is of the same size. But when you look at from here to here, this is the tunica media in a vena cava. Tunica media. But when you look at it in the iota, it's from here up to here. So this is the tunica media. The tunica media in the iota is way thicker compared to the tunica media that is found in your vein. Now that's where the difference is. And then from here to here, in the iota, this is a uh, tunica adventitia. Tunica adventitia. But in the vein, the tunica adventitia is thick. It's from here up to there. So this is the tunica adventitia. So I want you to draw this diagram. I want you to draw this histological slide and label them as I have labeled them here. Okay, these arrows are these arrows here are simply pointing at the endothelium. So the endothelium, we've already established, even this one here, we've already established is made up of simple squamous epithelium. So draw this and label these, okay? What they've labeled here, these are just venues. So these are venues, and this one here is an arterial. So draw this histological slide and label it. Okay, so this is at low power. You can't really tell the difference. It's at low power. Okay, so if you look at it at low power, the, it, the part here, this is a tunica intima, and then from here up to here, this is a tunica media, and then from here to here, this is a tunica. So tunica intima here. Intima. This is the media. And then this is the adventitia in an iota. You can't really appreciate them very well because it's at low power. In the venue, the innermost part here is the intima. And then this small part here, from here to here, that is the media. And then the bigger part that is at the bottom is the adventitia. So at low power, you can't really advent, uh, ad adventitia. You can't really appreciate them very well. Okay. So draw this diagram that I show you here. I showed you there. Okay. This is high power. So you can see from here to here, from there to there, this is the intima. And then from here up to here in the iota, that is the media. It's very big media. This one is the intima. And then this part here is adventitia in the iota. Okay. That is the iota there. 
in the vein, you can see this is the intima in the vein. Vena cover, intima. And then this small one from here to here, this is the media. It's very thi thin. And then all the way from here up to here, this is the adventitia. So the adventitia is made up, adventitia. The adventitia in a vein is made up of these muscle fibers. Okay. These muscle fibers are just longitudinal muscle fibers. So whenever you see these, these are longitudinal muscle fibers. And they're also made up of these connective tissue. This is elastic connective tissue. Elastic connective connective tissue. Okay. Elastic connective tissue. So draw this as well. So draw this as well to demonstrate the vena cover. Okay. So on this, you're drawing three. You're drawing number one. You're making this, this drawing here. Number two, you're making this drawing for the iota. And number three, you're making this drawing for the vena cover. Then you are done with that slide. Now, let's look at slide 8.32, which is the vena cover. So the vena cover, as we've already established, is made up of the tunica media. Tunica intima, rather. This is the tunica. Tunica intima. The tunica intima is just the endothelia. So it's made up of the endothelia, which is simple squamous epithelia, plus the subendothelial layer, meaning it is a layer that is just beneath the endothelium. Okay. And then you've got this part here, number two, which is the tunica, the tunica media. The tunica media is thin compared to this part, number three here, which is the tunica adventitia so the tunica adventitia in a vein in a vena cover is very thick now the tunica adventitia is made up of these bundles of muscle as you can see so these are simply smooth muscle bundles smooth muscle bundles label the massage and then what you can see between the smooth muscle bundles is just collagen fibers collagen fibers and elastic fibers the type of connective tissue that is found here is elastic connective tissue this is the uh, high power diagram at high power so this is at high power that you are going to draw so draw it at high power so first of all you draw it at low power this is low power and then you also draw it at high power this a here is a tunica intima so intima, B is the tunica media. And then C is the tunica adventitia. Okay, tunica adventitia. E here is the blood vessel. So as you can see here, this is a blood vessel. Okay? So this is just a venue. A venue here. What you see here, D, you see this is solid, doesn't have a lumen. But you can certainly see that this is a structure. This is a nerve. Okay. So this is a nerve. This is a nerve as well. Okay. And then uh, what you can see here, these are longitudinal muscle fibers. So these are smooth muscle fibers. Smooth muscle fibers. What you can see parallel here, this is connective tissue. So this is elastic elastic connective tissue connective tissue it's also known as areola connective tissue areola connective tissue mainly elastic connective tissue okay so this is how you're going to draw this and that is how you're going to label it i've labeled everything for you so it's just a matter of you drawing it all right so this is a vena cover steel this is a vena cover steel so just draw this diagram here and then you are set. These are the other diagrams you can make reference to. Now let's look at the artery, the vein, and the nerve. We're just trying to see how you identify and how you differentiate these, these three. So you've seen this structure here. This structure here, this is the artery. How do you know that this is the artery? Look at this. So this is the lumen number one. It has the lumen. 
it has the lumen and then it has this part here which is the tunica intima and then it has this part here that is thick from this part here up to here this is the tunica media so the tunica media is thick and then this part is the tunica adventitia so when you compare the tunica adventitia and the tunica media the tunica media is thicker that's how you know what you see here collapsed it doesn't have a regular shape it has an irregular shape this is the vein this is how you identify it veins usually have irregular shapes and arteries are muscular because of a large tunica media and they are regular what you see here that the red arrow is pointing this is the the nerve why it doesn't have a lumen look here on the on the vein you had a lumen but here you don't have any lumen here it's a closed space so this is a nerve that's how you are able to identify the artery the nerve and the vein in a histological slide this is simply showing us the same so this here is the nerve okay and then this here is the vein okay this here is the, the artery all right and then you have smooth muscles smooth muscles here and between smooth muscle you've got elastic connective tissue elastic connective tissue very very basic so that's how you you identify them another identifying structure is this have you seen inside of the vein there is red substance inside there this red substance are simply red blood cells the red blood cells even in the arteries there is blood here so these are red blood cells that are present inside of this of these uh blood vessels okay now let's look at our last histological slide which is the tongue okay so in the tongue we're trying to look at the blood vessels we're trying to differentiate the the pericytes also the venues and the arterioles so we know that the tongue is made up of these structures that's how we identify them these structures are known as papilla okay so the tongue has got uh complex papilla you've got filiform papillae circumvalent papillae foliate papillae okay so these are papillae papillae are filled with squamous epithelia some of which is keratinized some of which is non-keratinized okay so now this is the subcutaneous tissue of the of the tongue which contains muscles so these are muscles Okay, so the muscles that are found in the tongue are actually skeletal muscles. And what you see here are the blood vessels. Okay, so blood vessels. So in the tongue, you can't really differentiate at low power if this is a venue or this is an arterial. But all of the spaces that you see here are blood vessels. These are blood vessels that are found in the tongue. So draw it at low power and just label these as blood as as blood vessels blood vessels and then at high power you then differentiate the blood vessels so we we'll look at it at the high power here so high power you look at this this here is a blood vessel okay this blood vessel has got a regular shape so this is an arterial so any blood vessel that has got a regular shape is an arterial how do you know it's a blood vessel it has a lumen here on the middle lumen but when you look at this here, this blood vessel is irregular. So this is a venue. You say this is a venue. It has a lumen and it is irregular. Same as this one here. Okay. It has a vein, it has a lumen, it is irregular. This is a venue. So those are the two types of different uh blood vessels that are found in the subcutaneous tissue of the tongue. What you see here, the red ones. These are muscle fibers. So muscle fibers. We've done a lot of histological slides for the tongue. So we know how it looks like. Okay. You may ask, what are these? Okay. So these are just nervous tissues. Okay. These are just nerves. All right. Now, when you look at this, this here is an arterial. Now, 
something that is very near our material here, this is what we call a pericyte. A pericyte. Okay? So pericytes are supportive cells. So they are supportive cells to the blood vessels. They also contribute to the development of the blood vessels. And in the brain, they form what we call the brain-blood barrier. So you're supposed to uh, label the pericytes. The pericytes are very proximal to the arterioles and the venues. Okay. So just close to the arterioles and venues, just make this drawing and label it as a pericyte. Okay. So now, that was the last histological slide. After you draw all of those slides, then you do the exercises. Number one, list any four functions of the endothelial cells. We know endothelial cells are simple squamous cells that are found in the tunica intima. Number two, what is the function of the arterioles? What would happen to the architecture and function of an arterial that loses the tunica media? Tunica media has got the, mus the muscles, the smooth muscles. You remove the smooth muscles, it will collapse. Number three, with well-labeled labeled diagrams, contrast the simple microvascular pathway with arteriovenous shunts and portal systems. What is the function of these different microcirculations? Number four, with well-labeled diagrams, contrast the different types of capillaries. The sinusoidal capillaries, those capillaries that we highlighted at the beginning of the lab. List any three organs where each is found. What are the functions of these different capillaries? Number five, what are the major histological features and important roles of elastic and muscular arteries? Number five, what is the function of pericytes in the brain? Formation of the brain-blood barrier. Okay, so that was our last slide. If you are looking to be a guru in histology, in anatomy, and in all the medical courses, you can register with us on this number on the screen, plus 260-975-4977. Nine zero. Learn with the best. Okay, I'll see you in the next histology video. Let's anatomy together. Let's medicine together.